Hello, let's solve this question. What is the order from largest to smallest of the following numbers? Okay, so let's use uh, our same model. We're gonna circle or underline. And here it's important to say that they want them, the, they want this in order and they want this date to go from largest to smallest. And then also I can say that basically this is a question. I like these questions. Okay, um, we did circle or underline and we did box. My, my next step is to elaborate. In elaborate, I have to think about how am I going to solve this question. And when I see here different types of numbers, negatives and positives and fractions and decimals, to me, it's a really good and easy strategy to change everything to decimals. So that's what I'm going to do. And for that, I brought my flashcard. If you don't have these flashcards with you, I'm going to make you a recommendation. Go to the fraction, decimal, and percent flashcards and multiplication chart. That's in the same channel and then from there you're gonna see how the fraction decimal and percent flashcards look like and you can create them and then when we're solving problems we're gonna be using them they're gonna be very helpful okay so we're gonna get started with negative three fifths I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna circle that in orange and where do you see a fifth here is this one see Okay, so I'm going to work it out in here and I'm going to say, okay, I'm looking for negative three fifths. What I know is that one fifth equals 0 0.20 and it looks like this green section right here. But I want for my question three of them. So I'm going to have to repeat this green one how many times? Absolutely, three times. So I'm going to write on the side 0 0.20 times three. And we're going to multiply three times zero. 0, 3 times 2, 6, and 3 times 0, that's the 0. And I'm going to count the decimals, 1 and 2. And this one is 0, so the total is 2, 1, 2. So really, negative 3 feet is the same as 0 0.60. To compare the decimals, it's a great strategy to line up the numbers by place values, I'm gonna try always a decimal point. Then on this one, I have no holes. So a zero goes in front of the point. And then I have a six in here, and then I can have another zero here, see? Okay, the next number that we have is negative 3.4. Oh, that's an easy one because it's already in decimal form. So I'm just gonna write it in here. Oh, well, I'm missing something from that number. Do you notice? Line up the decimal point first, negative three, four and then nothing here so we can put a zero on this one i'm missing this negative i'm gonna bring it right here okay that's my negative sign okay i'm gonna look at the next one let's do green that's negative three and one half the whole number stays the same and it brings the sign too and for halves you see this here guys Yes, whenever I see one half, it is the same as saying 0 0.50. But in this case, I don't have zero, I have negative three. So I keep that whole number and the decimal, I will just bring it right here. See, it's really easy. The next number that we have is gonna be a seven. If, do you see any decimal point? I don't, but it doesn't mean there's none. It is in here but it's behind the seven. So I line up the decimal point and the seven is actually in front of it and fill in empty spaces with zeros. And it has no sign, so it stays positive. And finally, I have 22 over three. I'm gonna write that one and I haven't used red. So I'm gonna use red. And I'm gonna write my fraction here and it is positive, so it's gonna stay positive. This is 22 over three. And I'm gonna say, okay, I have one third here. But here, guys, it doesn't show on this one, it's too small, but it has a little line on top of it. What does it mean? It means that there's more three behind. And because this is not a short number, 22 is kind of a lot, I'm gonna repeat that three, 0 0.33, and then I have the line on top, but I'm gonna repeat it at least for one more. And I'm gonna repeat it how many times? 22 times, because that's the numerator. That's what the numerator tells me. Can you help me to multiply? Thank you. Two times three, six. Two times three, six. And two times three, six. Two times zero, that's a zero. We already used this uh, place value, so I'm gonna use a placeholder. 
Let's do the next one. 2 times 3, 6. 2 times 3, 6. 2 times 3, 6. And 2 times 0, 0. Let's add the 6. 12. And I carry 1. 1 plus 6, that's 7. Plus 6, that's 13. 3 and we carry 1. 1 and 6, that is a 7. And that's a 0, but at the beginning it really doesn't count. I just keep it right there. Okay, so let's count our decimals in each factor. 1, 2, 3. There's 3 here, and here I have none. Total is 3. From right to left, 3 times. 1, 2, 3. Awesome. So 22 thirds, it is the same as 7.326. And I'm going to put it right here. I'm using red. Oops, right here. 7.32 and I'm just going to keep it like that because all my other digits have just two digits. The other thing that I can do if I add that digit here, I'm going to, I will have to fill in the spaces on top of it like this. I'm going to keep it like that. What I'm going to have to do next is compare the numbers by place value. So I have to compare one to ones, tenths to tenths, hundreds to hundreds, and thousands to thousands. Like that. Okay, so, uh, and the other thing that we have to look at is from zero towards the right, we have positives. And from zero towards the left, we have negatives and I should have a zero somewhere here. I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, and um, I'm gonna get started with my positives. I see this two. Okay, and then this two are seven. The number line is just so we can place an order. It's not really representing the action size. So here I'm gonna say, okay, this is a seven. I'm gonna say this is seven. And I have seven and 7.326, so I'm gonna choose the first one, the one that is pink. That will be just the seven, right here. And then the next one is, I'm gonna use red for that one. I see 7.326, uh, but this number really, we got it from here, 22 over three. So and that's 7.3, so that means that if A is here, that's closest to seven, so probably here. And I'm just gonna write it right here. 22 over three, you see? Great. Now I'm gonna do something. What do you notice between seven and eight? Which is bigger? Eight, Muy, okay, very good. That means that always the greatest numbers are towards the right. And the opposite, the smallest numbers are towards the left. Okay, great. Now I'm gonna start organizing my negatives. And the one that's gonna be closest to zero because has no digits is negative 0 0.60. So that should be before one. So in case one is here, this one's orange, negative 0 0.60 should be a little bit after halfway. So it could be probably here. So I'm gonna say that right here this should be the orange, and this one should be negative three fifths, because negative three fifths, you see here, is like 0 0.60. Great, and uh, now I'm gonna look at my next number. I have negative 3.4, I'm gonna use blue for that one. And then I will have also negative 3.5. Which one will be 4? If this is negative 1, then uh, negative 2 probably will be here. Negative 3, negative 4. And you see, like the digit itself keeps going higher towards the left. But the value gets smaller. Very good. The more a number is towards the left, the smallest in value it is. Awesome. So we're gonna be 
identifying these numbers. So it should be probably, it's negative 3.4. So if I keep going here, and we have negative 3.1, negative 3.2, negative 3.3, negative 3.4. So moving a little bit more towards the left, so I'm going to say that number might be about here. And on the numbers, it was given like that. Okay, awesome. And then I said I'm going to, so you, I did this one now. And then I'm going to do the other um, number, which is negative 3 and 1 half. And we got it as negative 3 and 1 half, and we figured that was negative 3.50. That's how I know it's going to be after negative 3.4 going towards the left. So, but slightly after this, so probably here. And that one is given as negative three and one half. Okay, so I finished placing my positives and then now all my negatives. And now I need to put them in order from largest to smallest. So where do I start this time? On the left or on the right? Very correct. We have to start on the right. Because towards the right of the zero, we always have the greatest. So this will be the first greatest. And I look at my choices, and the one that doesn't work is letter B. So this one cannot be your answer. Going from right to left, the second greatest should be positive 7. So this one works. This one doesn't work. We already discard that one. This one works and this one works too. Okay. The next one will be negative 3 fifths. Here keeps working. Here keeps working. Oh, it didn't work anymore, this one. So we discard this one. Now I'm going to go, I keep going towards the left. And my next number is negative 3.4. So this should be the third number, negative 3.4. Okay, it's working in here, and it didn't work in here. So it looks like A got to be my answer. And then after this one, the last one is negative 3 and 1 half. And it did work, and we found our answer. And thank you very much. You did an awesome job. Thank you.